Hi, I'm Josh Taylor. I'm the director of squash at the club, which is a squash program based across three different sites across Manchester. Um, today, what we're going to talk about is supporting player journeys. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about within this topic is building rapport with players, which is kind of a buzzword within coaching, but really when you get down to it, it's knowing the person that you're working with. Um, it's something that I pride myself a lot in is being able to build good relationships really quickly with the players that I work with. Um, and I don't think there's any secrets in, in it really, other than the fact that it takes time um, and you've got to invest yourself in that person. Um, and the more you invest yourself in that person, the more you get on a level with them, the more time you create for them, obviously the quicker that happens. Um, and I think there's lots of little intricacies within having a good level of rapport with someone. And I think the first thing is, you know, you probably need to know how to make them laugh and some interests and all these kind of little bits that when you're within conversation with them, you know how to sort of push people into the right little bits of conversation that allow them to enjoy that experience with you. Um, I think you've got to get to yourself to a point where you're on a level with the people that you're working with. You know, it's pointless me using lots of big words and, um, you know, loads of, uh, you know, bits of my vocabulary that actually just go completely over the head of the player. It might well be that you could use all of that kind of, you know, elaborate language and all that kind of stuff and it lands really well. But knowing the person that's in front of you and knowing how to speak to them in the best possible way is really, really fundamental to making sure that everything that you're saying as a coach lands with them in, in a, good, a good manner. Um, I always try and create a lot of time for the players that I work with. I, I've been very fortunate over quite a period of time now to be able to do that. Um, and I think that a lot of the time as coaches, we kind of go from 40 minute lesson to another 40 minute lesson and kind of trying to book the trend and break the sort of habit of kind of getting into that and not having enough time for each person that you're coaching. Is, is a really big piece to be able to have enough time to let this kind of relationship prosper um, so that you can really understand that person. And I think the more you do that, the more you kind of get that, that relationship built up and the more you can kind of work really closely with someone and you know it's gonna be underpinned by a lot of trust, a lot of respect both ways. Um, and you're gonna have that freedom to be able to operate as a coach together with a player and, and really drive their performance forward. Um, which ultimately that's the first sort of reason they're starting to come to you. Um, the other thing that I think is really, really important is the ability to have these kind of honest, you know, conversations and them to happen both ways, you know. Um, the more that we get on a level with a player, the more we build good rapport with a player, um, the more that they feel that they can trust you and you build that respect and they know that you're there just to really, really help them um, in their journey. Um, the more that those honest conversations can happen both ways, you know, and it's not just from a coach to the player. I think there's a lot of, individ a lot of individual different experiences I've had where, you know, players can be really honest with you um, and then you can start to change and adapt and they know that it's going to be taken on board in the right way that, you know, you're both supporting each other then to get the most out of that relationship and the most out of the individual's performance.